Welcome to the ADF Insider Essentials series which demonstrates essential skills, tips and techniques that will help you for building ADF applications. In this demonstration you'll see how you can set a row of data as being non-editable based on the value of an attribute. My name is Grant Ronald and I'm part of the Oracle Development Tools product management team. So what's the scenario we're looking at here? Well let's consider that depending on the value of some field or some attribute, we want to make a row of data non-editable. So for example, a cancelled order should not be edited. We also may have the situation that rather than make the whole row non-editable, we make some attributes non-editable. So for example, it might be that if an order has its status as shipped, then you cannot change the shipping or the order date. So how will we do this? And let's have a look in pseudocode first of all. So for a row of data, we're going to look at each attribute in the row and decide if that row or if that attribute should be updatable or not. And we'll do this by checking the order status. And if the order status is set to cancelled, then all the attributes in the row should be non-updatable. Otherwise, that row should be updatable. So in a little more detail, we're going to add code to the entity object impl. So the orders entity object impl, we're going to override and there's a framework method called isAttributeUpdatable. And this method is called by the framework for every attribute in the orders entity object to check if the declarative setting to make this attribute updatable or not has been set. Now we can override this and in the overridden code we will get the order status to check what's the order status of this current order and if it's set to cancelled we'll return false. That means is attribute updatable will return false which means the framework will recognize that this attribute is not updatable. Otherwise, we'll just return whatever the current setting of the editability of that attribute is. So let's have a look at this in a demonstration. So the great thing about ADF business components is that this check for a field being editable is very easy to do and the UI will automatically pick up whether the attribute is editable or not. So let's see how we do this. In our orders entity object, I'm going to generate out our orders impl class. And I want to have accessors because I need to be able to get the order status. So I'm going to generate the accessors as well. So let's OK and go to our, our class. And then we're going to use, and there's a button here where we can override methods. And the method here is is attribute updatable. So that's the framework method that will be called whenever the framework checks whether an attribute within the orders entity object is updatable. And we're going to override that method. So there's our code here and let's start writing some code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create So it happens to be that the number three is the indication of an order being cancelled. Okay, so do our if statement, and in the if statement we're going to say if the order is cancelled, so we do this dot get order status, and if the order status is equal to order cancelled, then we want to return the result of is attribute updatable is false. So return false. Let's fix our typo there. Okay, so what we've done there is that overridden is attribute updatable 
if the order is cancelled then we return false otherwise return whatever the setting is for that particular attribute and notice here that the actual attribute that we're checking is in this parameter here we're not going to look at it because as far as we are concerned it doesn't really matter what attribute we just want to know that uh, if if the order is cancelled then all attributes should be non-editable however if some attributes were to be still editable we could check the attribute here and then make a decision in the code so let's save our code and then run that and test okay and here we can see our first customer the order status is four that's an editable order we go to next and that's an order status of three so it's a non-editable therefore those attributes are non-editable and the UI has picked up the fact that these are non-editable and created the appropriate components for it as well and let's just go to uh, another customer and there we go their order number th status three is cancelled therefore that order is not editable but these other orders are editable. So to summarize, in an entity object or a view object, we have a framework method called is attribute updatable, and we can override this method to add our own code that will augment the check for whether an attribute is updatable to add our own code. In this case, our code will be to check the order status, and if it's equal to the order cancelled, we're returning false. For more information, including tutorials, discussion forums and samples, you can go to the Oracle Technology Network on the website on the screen. Thank you very much for listening.